Hey YouTube, Common Collector here, and today we are doing another Rocket Guard Dragon combo video. So, I did put up a combo video a few weeks ago in which there was actually a mistake in both of the combos. I caught the one mistake in editing, but somebody did point out that in the comments that I had one of the Guard Dragons on the field and that I linked away to go into our Unchained Abomination, which is a no-no since when these are on the field you can only go into Dragon Monsters, so... There are a few points in this deck where you can ha be kind of locked into dragons or darks with the rocket tracer. So you got to bear all that stuff in mind. So I figured I would do another combo video in order to show you guys more stuff and to hopefully make sure that I don't make those same mistakes again. I was kind of rushed when I was filming that video because I was going away for the weekend, but that won't be happening again this time. I'll have plenty of time to double check myself and make sure that everything is up to snuff. So one quick thing before going over any of the combos, these are basically your main four cards that are going to be stopping you from any of those plays like I just mentioned. So the two guard dragon monsters, while they're on the field, you can't special summon anything but dragons. So it's really important that you make sure that you never link these away for your Unchained Abomination, your Crystron Halcifabrax or Union Carrier or anything like that. Also, you can't be summoning anything besides dragons, but most of the cards in the main deck, if not all of them, are dragons, so you're going to be good there from the main deck. Besides that, with Rocket Tracer, whenever you use its effect, you are um, locked into dark monsters, very similar to like with the uh, Vision Hero uh, Vision Hero Ferris, how that will lock you into like dark hero monsters, I believe it is, for the rest of the turn, so just... Keep in mind that this is locking you into just dark monsters, so it doesn't have to be exclusively dark dragons, which is nice, because then we can still go into that Unchained Abomination. And then one thing just to make a note of with Quad Boral is he sort of has two restrictions. First of all, one of his materials has to be a rocket monster for his Link Summon, and then also after you use his effect... You are uh, unable to link summon anything that's link 2 or lower. So it is kind of nice to try to fit a uh, triple burst dragon in this deck if you can. But if you can't, then um, if your extra deck is a little too tight, you still have those two link 4 monsters to be able to go into as well. Besides that, other cards that sort of have like specific requirements, you have Striker Dragon, similar to Guard Dragon Elpian Pisty, who requires a level 4 or lower Dragon Monster, so just keep that in mind for its Link Summon. Then you have Heretic Seal, which requires two Dragons. Your Halcifabrax, which actually requires one of the materials to be a Tuner. Two Dark Dragons for your Delindrous Dragon, so you always got to make sure that you're not sending off one of your Light Dragon Monsters for that. And then Union Carrier is actually very flexible for this deck. It just needs two monsters with the same type or attribute, so that's usually very, very easy to get. Then you also have stuff like your Dragoonity Knight and your Unchained Abomination. This needs Winged Beasts or Dragons, and this needs two monsters, and one, um, and at least one of them has to be a Link monster. So besides that, the rest of the deck, um, you know, that's about half your extra deck, but the rest of it is very, very flexible. Okay, so for our first hand, what I'm going to be showing you guys is sort of a combo with um, if you draw into a bit of a brick hand, you know, we have a couple of the good rocket monsters as well as, unfortunately, like we have a few cards that you would normally plan to see from just like your link monsters, how they add stuff to your hand and whatnot, or onto the field, or pitch to graveyard, and these rockets really aren't like the best rockets in the deck, so we're going to sort of see what you can do with that, and then I just threw the called by the grave in there just as like, you know, a little something, if, you know, if your opponent did ask you, then you could go ahead and pop that off, but... What we're going to do with this combo is we're going to start off with the Black Metal Dragon. And we're just going to link that off into a Striker Dragon there. Striker is going to add the Boot Sector Launch to our hands. And then also we will be getting our Red Eyes Darkness Metal off of the effect of the Black Metal Dragon. So with that we will just activate the Boot Sector Launch right away which will allow us to special summon two of our rockets. I've even been thinking of maybe increasing the amount of rockets in this deck a little bit, just because that getting that boot sector launch off is just really, really powerful, and you, you just always want that to go off. So I've been trying to figure out how I can do that a little more often, and I think maybe increasing the amount of rockets, I just don't know where I would replace them. Hopefully we'll just get some better rockets in the future to replace some of the extenders. So from here what we're going to do is we will link away the Striker and the Rocket Synchron to go into our Romulus. Romulus will then add our Dragon Ravine 
uh, which is going to be somewhere in the deck. There it is. So we will just activate the Dragon Ravine right away, replacing our Boot Sector launch. And then with that, we can just send one card from the hand of the graveyard. Normally you would want this in the graveyard, but I think uh, I have a plan for why I'm going to just discard the Called by the Grave. So that is going to allow us to send our Galactic Spiral Dragon to the graveyard, which is always just a great card to have there. That way you can just go into like an emergency rank 8 play at any moment. So that's always very, very nice. Um, besides that, then we're going to link away the Silver Rocket for our Guard Dragon Pisty. And when Pisty is summoned, that's actually going to allow us to use Romulus' effect in order to special summon a dragon from the hand. But it can't be used as link material. It, I, I just wish that it didn't have that effect because right now we could just link away into our Guard Dragon LP. But what we can do is that since we have this in hand, we can actually special summon it by banishing, uh, yeah, by banishing that. And then we can just use the Red Eyes' effect in order to special summon something from the graveyard so we will just pick back up that rocket synchron and with that we will link that away into the guard dragon lp so now that we have two zones that a link monster is pointing to we can go ahead and search through the deck and i'm not totally sure what we're going to want to pull off of this usually i go for that black metal dragon maybe rocket tracer is sort of our best bet at this point because, yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking that Rocket Tracer is probably a pretty good call. Okay, so after that, our next game plan is, since we have the Rocket on the field, we could go ahead and get rid of the Dragon's Ravine with its effect or something, but I think what I want to do first is I want to kind of, I want to get the Red Eyes Darkness Metal to the Graveyard, so I'm going to link away. Keep in mind that we have to stay with Dragon Monsters. This is where I came into a problem on my last video but we're going to summon out the Boral Sword Dragon. And with that, we can go ahead and use the Rocket Tracer's ability to get rid of the, that Dragon's Ravine. And I think we'll special summon this Rocket Recharger. Um, I, always like, I always like that effect. So now we are, uh, I like having the Rocket Recharger in the graveyard for if we ever need it. And I think with that, we are just going to send those for our Borolode Savage, and since we did send the Romulus, we do have a double negate there, or uh, two, two negate counters, so that's always nice. What we can do now is, since we have two zones that Pisty is pointing to, we can get that Red Eyes Darkness Metal back from the graveyard, and with that we can um, use the Darkness Metal to summon something back to the field. And then I think the way that we're just going to finish this combo off, we have to keep in mind that we're locked into darks, but we would be able to special summon out that Galactic Spiral Dragon. And then I think we're just going to take these two here and we will link, or uh, sorry, XZ into our uh, Dingirsu. And so besides that, uh, you could sort of try to change this around a little bit. I'm sure there would have been some ways to get like Hieratic Seal into this extra monster zone or something instead of uh, these guys, but um, besides that, there's not really any good like link twos that you can really go into. Uh, again, we're we're locked into dragons while that's on the field, so we can't go into Union Carrier, and we're locked into um, darks anyways. So I think from there, that's going to be the end of the combo. The only other thing you could do is you could go into like Delindrous Dragon, but I would rather just keep this on the field. That way, we can abuse that effect again next turn, and we do have a little protection from the Boral Sword anyways. So. That's going to do it for combo number one. Now let's head on to combo number two. Okay, now I thought just for fun, it would be interesting to see if, from the other perspective, if you drew into just a whole bunch of your spell cards from this deck. So I think we're going to pick up a Quick Launch Dragon Shrine, World Legacy Guard Dragon. Uh, overall, really, like if you draw into a bunch of your spells, we'll even draw this because it's a searchable spell. And then, um, yeah, I guess overall... Boot Sector Launch really wouldn't help us in this scenario, so we're going to see overall what can we do with a hand like this. So, I guess first off we're going to start off by activating our Quick Launch, which will special summon a rocket from the deck. You almost always want to go off with Rocket Tracer here just to make sure that that makes its way onto your field. Then we might as well activate the Dragon Shrine. So we, we just we do have a whole lot of our extenders here, but what we can do with Dragon Shrine is we'll send our Dragon Spirit of White, and then since we've sent a normal monster, we can send another monster from the deck. So from here we will send the 
World Chalice Guard Dragon. So this is just like our great little combo that is just like a free monster on board. So I definitely like doing that, and it just helps to thin the deck. So uh, if you do go end up going into a turn, you know, a turn two, turn three, then like you're gonna probably see some of the better cards. It's 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 almost like the Upstart Goblin where it's gonna increase your consistency. Um, from here, we're gonna activate the Dragon's Ravine and just discard our Boot Sector Launch, which will allow us to special out that or uh, sorry, send to the graveyard that Galactic Spiral Dragon. So that's probably our next best bet. And from here, we're just going to link away that Rocket Tracer in order to special out Striker Dragon. And then we might as well activate our World Legacy Guard Dragon. Uh, sorry, that uh, Striker Dragon will be adding our, yeah, da, 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 our Boot Sector Launch. Forgot about that. But um, yeah, we will activate the World Legacy Guard Dragon, which will special back our Rocket Tracer. And from there we can go ahead and activate Rocket Tracer's effect to uh, get rid of our Dragon's Ravine and then special summon a Rocket from the main deck. So overall right now we basically have a freebie as far as getting out like a Boralode Savage Dragon. But I'm sure that uh, as you guys know it's, with this deck it's sort of like go big or go home. So what we're going to do is we will Go ahead and link away these two here, and then we will special summon out. Oh no, and we can't get out our Romulus because we've already used our Rocket Tracer's effect, so we are stuck with Dark Monsters. So why don't we go with our Quad Boral there, and then from there we can probably take the Silver Rocket Dragon, and we're going to send that for our Guard Dragon LP. Now that Elpy's on the field with our World Legacy Guard Dragon, we are going to move it to a new zone, and that will allow us to special summon something from the main deck. So summoning from the main deck, obviously we want to go with our Black Metal Dragon, and we're just going to go ahead and link him away for... Oh boy, now this is sort of a toughie, but I guess we... Uh, yeah, I guess we have to go with the Guard Dragon Pisty, or do we just want to go with another Striker Dragon? So if we pick up the Striker Dragon here, um, well, actually, no, 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 we don't even we don't even need to do Pisty. We'll just leave these, and then what we'll do is we will send these two, and why don't we go into our uh, Delindrous Dragon? Because yeah, he just needs two Darks. So now that uh, these two are on the field together, what we can do is we can discard our second boot sector launch for the, quad, the effect of Quad Boral Dragon. So we're going to be pitching the Delindrous Dragon in order to special summon two more rockets from the graveyard. And then Delindrous Dragon will actually let him special summon himself back to the field. We will special out the Galactic Spiral since we have a whole bunch of monsters and i'm not sure if uh, does his effect go on summon no his effect is just once during the main phase so we're not going to use that yet first before we do that we will go ahead and synchro those for our borrow load savage and ooh, now that i'm thinking about it we probably don't yeah we actually don't have a link to but this is going to give us a um yeah well actually before we do that we'll just uh, have these two on the field link these two away into something that we want, either our Unchained Abomination or Boral Sword, and just so we have Boral Sword and Boral Load on the field at the same time. And then if we had had any other plays to do, we could have uh, done the Galactic Spiral Dragon uh, onto the field. So, And also we got to keep in mind with the Quad Boral that you can only go into Link 2 monsters, or, or uh, higher than Link 2, so the Boral Sword Dragon is good to go there. So... Actually, if you wanted to save this for your next turn, what we could do is we can just leave these two sit, and then we have a free rank 8 play on our next move. So if your opponent is able to get around this, with uh, this would have two negates sitting there, so that's easily going to be, I mean, that's going to be a pretty decent board to have set up there, and then your opponent's going to have a tough time getting around this free rank 8 play on your following turn. So that is a combo with all spell cards. 
Also, lastly, I should note that the Delindrus Dragon would be banished after his effect went off on that uh, on that one combo with Quad Boral. Alrighty, guys, so we've done the one combo with all of the monsters. We did the combo with all the spells. So now we are going to be doing the ultimate combo, a very well-balanced hand. And I believe that this is probably one of the strongest hands you can open with with this budget deck. So we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do, obviously, right away is we're going to activate our quick launch. That is going to be special summoning our rocket tracer from the deck. One of the best plays you can do, and obviously now we have to keep in mind that we have not normal summoned yet this turn, so it's just like the easiest, simplest way to get a rocket monster to the field. So we're also going to activate that Dragon Shrine, which is going to help send out this combo, first sending the Dragon Spirit of White, and then the World Legacy Guard Dragon. Just thinning the deck just really, really helps for that following turn. And now we can special summon out the Abs Herouder Dragon, since we have a rocket on the field, we're going to link that away into our striker. And then striker is going to be adding that boot sector launch on summon. So always nice there. Next thing, this is just like such a perfect combo in unison together. It would be probably pretty broken if Absa Router would be a rocket that would just be like searchable through the deck. But um, yeah, so you usually have to hard draw into this, but it's just such a such a perfect card. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the Striker Dragon's effect to tribute that in order to add a rocket back to the hand. And then when this card goes to the graveyard, that adds another rocket. So we will add the Auto Rocket Dragon. It can be really, really any rocket that you prefer at the moment, but I don't think it matters too much for this combo right now. What we're going to do next is then we'll activate the Boot Sector Launch, which we were able to search with our Striker. And now this combo perfectly sets us up with two rockets in the hand. So we will summon those two onto the field. And then we're just going to take these two and link off right away into our Romulus. Romulus will then search and add our Dragon Shrine into hand. And we're just going to, or sorry, not Dragon Shrine. Ooh, my bad. Uh, Dragon Ravine, wherever that's at. Do, 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 do. So much searching. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, so we will just activate the Dragon Ravine right away. And um, we don't really have anything to discard yet, actually. So we might just hold on to that. Not sure if we'll even be activating it this turn. Um, I think that we, we want to be using these cards that are currently in our hand right now. So that's um, what we're going to do now is we will special summon out that Wyver Buster by banishing... How about... Actually, we'll just banish the... Absa router. We don't really have any uses for that anymore. And then we will link away this Absa router for our guard dragon LP. And since we have that world legacy guard dragon, we can go ahead and special summon. Oh, sorry. And also with that Wyver Buster, once that leaves the field, we are going to be adding the dark dragon to hand. So now with that world legacy guard dragon, we're going to be able to special summon back one of these guys. So we will get back the Auto Rocket Dragon, and then we can just link that away into our Guard Dragon Pisty. So with our board looking like this, now that we have this zone where these two point to, we can special summon from the deck. We could activate the World Legacy Guard Dragon, but usually the way that this sort of ends up going is you sort of ultimately end up linking away for like a Link 4 into Boral Sword, and then you just don't have like the right arrows because then you summon... Uh, you summon something uh, with your effects, and then you can't do any good link plays to uh, get a, something, because uh, your only zone to summon to is this area, if you get out the Red Eyes Darkness Metal. So basically what happens is you get Red Eyes Darkness Metal, you summon something, and then you'd have to like link this away if you want your Pisty to use this to uh, abuse this effect again. But since we want to get off that effect mostly, what we're going to do is we will just have... Guard Dragon LP on the field with these, so we're not using the Guard Dragon. Just keep that in mind. We could use it later if we really wanted to, but I don't think we will have to. But anyways, this, this will all make sense now. What we'll do is we'll use the LP's effect to get Black Metal Dragon, and then we can um, link that Black Metal Dragon away to uh, with the Rocket Tracer, how about? No. Um, yeah, we'll send actually all four of these how about yeah and we will go ahead and pick up our boral sword dragon 
And keep in mind that when this hits the graveyard, we are able to pick up the Black Metal Dragon, or Darkness Metal Dragon, and we will special summon out that Collapse Serpent by banishing a Light Monster. We should have the Wyver Buster, yep. So we're going to banish that, and then we'll banish this right away for our Darkness Metal Dragon. We'll use Darkness Metal's effect in order to special summon back that Rocket Tracer. And then we can use Rocket Tracer, actually, in order to destroy the Boot Sector Launch, and then special summon a rocket from the deck. So with that, I try to get out the rocket recharger at some point. So now we will, uh, now we are locked into dark monsters. But what we can do from here is we will uh, synchro those away into our Borolode Savage. And we have the Romulus in the graveyard. So that's just the way we want it to get two negates right there. So from here with our field like this, we would probably then want to take these two and then we can link away into something like Delindrous Dragon. It would be nicer to go into Quad Boral, but we don't have a rocket on the field with this current setup. And then uh, what's perfect is since we haven't used that uh, World Legacy Guard Dragon, we can now move the Delindrous Dragon anywhere that we want to. And now we can use Pisty's effect to bring back the Red Eyes Darkness Metal. And then with that, we will go ahead and special summon. We might as well bring back that rocket tracer. And then with that, we could go ahead and how about we just send these two to go into our quad boral dragon. So from here, what we would do then is uh, we're not going to go ahead. We're not going to be doing this full combo where we're uh, tribute or destroying this in order to get back, but uh, get back a bunch of rockets because we wouldn't get off the Delindrous Dragon's extra effect. So I think what we would actually just still do from this point is we're going to take these two and link them away for that Unchained Abomination. And then um, besides that, what we will do, um, what or what we could have done, we still have the Dragon Shrine in hand, but we don't have a good discard for its cost. But what we actually should have done from the beginning instead of with this Dragon Shrine Instead of sending these two from the deck to the graveyard, what we should have done is we should have sent the Galactic Spiral. Because what we could do, so we'll just say that we had done it at this point. We will special out that Galactic Spiral, use its effect to make these level 8s. And then you could go ahead and XZ over uh, into the Dean Girsu. So this is going to be a pretty strong board in order to be stopping some effects. So I think I'll put it over there. So this is going to be some good uh, battle protection and Omni Negate and as well as a few destruction cards. So anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for the combos. Hopefully there were no mistakes this time. Hopefully this went totally flawlessly. If I did make a few mistakes, you know, leave a pleasant comment in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, this video went very well, showing off a little bit of the versatility. Unfortunately, in none of these com combos, the Union Carrier and Christron Halk of Brax didn't really come up. But if there are more combos, if you guys are just interested in any other ways that some of these cards can combo together, if you want me to do another video, uh, just leave something in the comments and say, hey, how, uh, how would a combo with this, 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 and this card combo off or something, and I'll end up making another video so we'll see if you guys are interested in that other than that i will catch you guys next time so thank you very much for watching common collector out later